How's it going everybody? My cup of tea here, back from the reaction video, and we're here to watch something a little bit controversial. I don't know, this might spark some arguments, but I'm just here for a good time, because today, <laughs> today, we're gonna be watching why Ben 10 can beat Goku, Superman, and pretty much anyone by the Ink Tank. Now, I have just finished watching season one of Ben 10, not like all of Benton, just season one of Benton, the original, on my second channel, My Cup of Extra Tea, go check that out. Finished that, I think, two weeks ago. So I decided to take a little break and watch something, you know, maybe a little funny, maybe a little informative, you know, just, just something that's not like just watching Benton episodes. And so that's what we're gonna do today for something that might be a bit controversial. Now for me, I don't care. I'm just here to have a good time. So that's what we're gonna do. <laughs> we're just here gonna have a good time. Let's see what anything has to say, because this was six years ago. Um, so like, was you at Goku? A thing back then? I'm not sure. But I know Master UI or other, other stuff is, it hasn't happened. Listen, it's Ben 10. Let's watch this. Also, beating Superman too? That's pretty crazy to say. But let's watch this. Let's see how Ben 10 can beat these crazy people and pretty much anybody else. Now, I think this is the right video. If this is another video, let me know down below. But yeah, I think this is the right video. So let's watch this. Whether you're a hardcore Ben 10 fan or just furious at me for challenging your own favorite hero, yeah, this how dare video you. will break Durr. down why Ben Tennyson is one of the most powerful characters in fiction ever. I'm Kuro the Artist, and I'm going to show you why Kuro. Ben can beat Superman, Goku, and pretty much anybody he faces. There's a lot of people right there. Is it because of Alien X and like maybe some other army shirts uh, or aliens I don't know about? No idea. Tracing the board. Six years. That's, that's, that's crazy. Yeah, how powerful is Ben 10? four series and movies of any continuity, Ben 10, ben 10 is easily oh. Cartoon Network's most fleshed out character. Yes. While I will mainly focus on that. Superman and Goku in this video, as they are obviously the most popular and widely accepted standards of fan-made versus battles, yes. I'm going to start from Ben's most basic ability. Except for one punch man, I think. I don't know. Abilities, <laughs> and make my way up to his most powerful ones in the end. Just to get an all-around feel for the character for those unfamiliar with his real potential. To emphasize, I'm going to show you how Ben can beat the most basic street-level characters and then work my way up to the top. All right, all right. So stick Let's around. You'd be surprised what this kid can do. A lot. You can do a lot. The basics. Again, only watch season one. But I know a little bit of what I, I know about what happens like the story. A level 20 kind of. tech device built by first thinker Azmuth of yep. the Galvin. This device allows Ben to transform into various alien creatures from across two galaxies that we know of and utilize their abilities to, you know, save the world. Mm -hmm. By the end of the series, the Omnitrix contained 1,912 aliens, 99 have been unlocked, 71 named, and 61 Ben has been shown transforming into. I didn't know that's how many was in the total. I didn't know it was over a million. I didn't know that. That's okay. On screen. Ben has been in possession of though. three different Omnitrix devices across the yep. four shows. Omnitrix, the original the Omnitrix, Omnitrix, which had Ultimatrix. a 10 minute time limit to his transformations, yep. and also caused Ben to transform into the wrong alien multiple times. Yep. Which I, then, I'm watching that right now. I'm seeing that firsthand. Recalibrated after five years, fixing all of those problems. Until he and Kevin tried to hack the Omnitrix and yep. broke it again. Good going, guys. Unfortunately, Ben sacrificed that Omnitrix to prevent Vilgax from using it to power his bioid army. Having mm -hmm. no choice, Albedo gave Ben the Ultimatrix, Ultimatrix which functions similar to yeah. the original Omnitrix, but now includes an evolution feature. According mm, to the late the Dwayne McDuffie, the evolution uh, feature worked by placing the selected species in a simulation, right down to the DNA, for an extended period of time, about a million years or so, Jesus. in what is described as the worst case scenario. The actual DNA is then simply modified to match the new DNA. The survival of the fittest routine explains why the evolutions are more combat-centered than their normal forms. Mm. So basically, if you threw an alien into a non-stop war zone for about a million years, this is what it would evolve yeah, into to survive. Yeah, that makes sense. However, at the end of Ultimate Alien, Azmuth deemed Ben worthy of the official Omnitrix, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. which he had been working on since Ben found the prototype six years ago. But let's take a look yep, at some yep. of the actual alien transformations. Like I said, this is not really spoilers for me because I know what happens because I watched the illustrated lore that he made on Ben 10, so I know like what happens, but I'm still watching like the original anime and work my way up because I just want to see like the actual, I, I want to actually see it happen, that if that makes sense. But all right, strength, More let's get it. More often than not, Ben's aliens all share the same characteristic of giving Ben some form of enhanced strength. 
Spider Monkey mm -hmm. and Kick and Hawk have been shown to be excellent choices for one on one combat. Okay. Rick Jaws' teeth and jaw are strong enough to tear through even the toughest of metals. And of course, that. there's forearms. Ben's Tetraman form is strong enough to not only catch four missiles out of the air and clench onto them as they continue to move, but change the direction of them simply by turning his wrists. Oh, he can also that's, smack that's his really wrists strong. together to create a powerful sonic wave that could push back basically anything in his path. Humongosaur is even a step up from that. According to Eugene Sun, in Humongosaur's base form, he is strong enough to lift up a Toku Star, which what averages is about 120 feet tall and weighs between 55,000 and oh. 74,000 pounds. That's, Humongosaur that's, that's, can that's then couple in size, multiplying his strength by six making oh. his maximum recorded strength about 444,000 pounds. That's a lot of pounds. Then, of course, pounds. there's That's Wavy, an actual Tuku star, who I don't really feel like needs an explanation. No, no, you're great. You're really good. Yeah, he's, he's pretty strong. Oh, Speed, who's the fastest? The first alien that comes to mind whenever Speed is yep. mentioned is XLR8, All right. one of XLR8, the original 10 fault. aliens in Ben's arsenal. At age 10, Ben's Kinecellarant form can clock up to 500 miles per hour, about that's pretty 65 fast. of the speed of sound. That's pretty fast. It is unconfirmed just how fast Accelerate gets as Ben ages, but it was hinted that Ben is able to travel globally within seconds by age 30. Oh, Another oh speed alien Ben has is Fast Track, but I'm going to skip over his specs as he has already been confirmed to be slower than Accelerate. Oh, but to top matter. that, Ben would have to transform into Jet Ray. His aerophibian form is versatile in both air and water. In the Ultimate Alien episode, mm. Eye of the Beholder, Ben was able to travel across the galaxy at hyperspeed and stick a perfect landing. Oh. He is also able to breathe in space, which, you know, Goku can. Jet Ray has also been stated to be even faster when he's underwater, but his maximum speed has not been shown. Interesting. He's faster than water. Oh, Satan shoot. Form, who can the man who can stop or slow down time? Halt, yet move through any terrain with ease. Ooh. Hunter Zolomon, a.k.a. Zoom, one of the Flash's Flash. greatest threats, also had the ability to slow down time yep. rather than just run at super speed. With that power, The Flash has stated that even at his fastest, Zoom was still a blur. Mm -hmm. So you can imagine what The Flash might feel about seeing an entire planet of aliens doing the very same thing. That's scary. That's scary. You got you got an alien that's like on the level of Reverse Flash, kind of, or maybe the same. That's scary to think about because Reverse Flash is very, very fast. I don't know too much about my DC comics, but I know Reverse Flash is one of the fastest out there. <laughs> Skill. Alright, what's, what's skill like? like, like the, uh... While not quite on his cousin Gwendolyn's level, Ben is also an incredibly skilled fighter, with and without the Omnitrix. Even in an alternate universe where Ben never even found the Omnitrix nor heard of aliens mm -hmm. existing, he still had some pretty good moves. He is skilled in numerous fighting styles for hand to hand combat Man, from dodging lasers. With his cousin, the Plumber Academy, mm. and just copying what he's seen off of video games. <laughs> he has also been shown to use both close range and long range weapons. When you throw the Omnitrix back into the mix, Ben can be extremely creative and adaptive with his yes, transformations. Yes, he can. Yes, he can. When Kevin Levin, former enemy and now best friend of Ben, absorbed the first 10 transformations from 10-year-old Ben's Omnitrix, I'm that part, Ben I taught think. Kevin how to combine his alien's abilities to create unique and powerful attacks. Mm. speed plus forearm strength plus diamond head invulnerability equals one mean punch. I guess after yes. six years, though, Simplify, the last yes. <laughs> Doofus, you've got the powers of a ghost. Come in already. <laughs> At the end of season two of the classic series, Back with a Vengeance, Ben has temporary access to the master control, allowing Ben to switch between alien form at will without having to turn human first, and no time limit for his transformations. Mm, that's, and that's just look how right effortlessly there. versatile this Yeah, no, he, he is crazy. Executing he is body in them. That must be season two or season three right constantly here. changing form every few seconds. While scenes like this are very visually stunning, think about how much cognitive dexterity you would need to pull this off. At the time, Ben had 12 transformations, so his decision making for exactly which form to change into and what to do with it as the events are happening are incredibly impressive. Mm -hmm. Years later, he has only gotten better and can now change form mid-battle whenever he wants without the master control. However, wow, now his transformation time that. limit is based on how much energy the Omnitrix has instead of an exact time frame. So depending on how Ben uses the Omnitrix, Transformations can last anywhere from a few hours to just a couple of brief seconds. Mm. But Ben also has the option to turn on the life form lock, which genetically locks Ben into a single transformation with no chance of a timeout, should the situation call for it. Mm. Okay, I didn't know about that. All right. Power. What's the difference no between power and strength? Needed, I'm just going to jump right in. 
Toddler pyronites, or baby heat Who? blasts, can reach supernova temperatures whenever they have a tantrum. Oh, so no. an adult pyronite can speak for itself. There's also NRG, whose body emits a constant radiation so harmful to most species that he has to stay in a full body cage whenever he's off wow. his home planet. Atomics can execute and manipulate an unknown powerful nuclear energy and is easily one of Ben's strongest transformations. Ben Damn. usually refrains from this form unless absolutely necessary due yeah, to its I, destructive I, nature. I, I can see why. Moving back to previously mentioned aliens, Waybig can emit powerful cosmic beams when he crosses his arms that are strong enough to damage Dagon. A multi-dimensional being made Duck of living energy. Waybig's cosmic beams can hurt living energy. There's clock. Uh, that's uh, how you hurt energy. That's some Superman. Not to me. That's some comic book level of stuff right there. How you? How do you hurt energy? Work. <laughs> who can fire time rays, which basically rapidly age whatever it targets into dust, instantly Dang. killing them. Oh. Now, even if all of that is not enough to convince you that there's more to this Omnitrix bearer than meets the eye. There's one final transformation that basically takes the cake. Alien and that, X. That of course is Ben Celestial Sapien form. Alien, Alien X. X. Uh. His powers are the ability to alter reality in any way he wants with no yep. potential limits. Seriously, he can manipulate time, space, create whatever he wants, destroy whatever he wants, etc. Now, is omnipotence is definitely an ability you'd want to keep in check. So, Celestial Sapiens all have three personalities that share one body. When Ben transforms into Alien X, he becomes one of these three personalities. For him, there's Bellicus, the voice of rage and aggression. Serena, the voice of love and compassion. Mm -hmm. Ben takes the place as the voice of reason. Mm -hmm. And yes, each Celestial Sapien has their own unique trio of floating heads. To do anything, at least two of the three personalities yep. must agree to execute the motion. So if you became Alien X and wanted to, say, turn someone into a fish or something, you have to debate with the personalities <laughs> and convince at least yeah, one bait. of them to agree with you that the it's a good idea, head. and then you can do it. This could lead to a disadvantage in battle, as there are times where Ben is still debating with Bellicus and Serena, so his body is completely motionless. Mm -hmm. He's still indestructible in that state, though, so it doesn't exactly leave him vulnerable. It just doesn't get anything done, either. There yeah. are many times where Ben has successfully used Alien X, such as his debut episode where he was able to rewind mm -hmm. time but only in a specific spot, mm -hmm. or in Omniverse where he failed to stop the Annihilarch from blowing up the universe, so he just created a new one. That's crazy. Yep. From they episode said no four of Omniverse to that. Onward, everyone so, and everything in the universe I know about gets that. obliterated. I know about that. Yeah, so that's Alien insane. X creates an exact duplicate. Spare for some minor changes to reality. Ben's not perfect, guys. However, <laughs> Ben was actually able to bypass that and gain full control over Alien X. And I was gonna pause and say like. Just the fact that he has to recreate uh, the universes is like, it's not the same as he once knew, but it kind of is. It's kind of like, I feel like that would mess with my mind if I had to do that situation. Like, oh, no, nah, we're not going to save the universe. It can get destroyed. But you can make it, you can recreate it again if you want to. But it's not the same. It's based on my memory, like what I remember. I think I could do that. The episode. Ben was actually able to bypass that and gain full the control over it, Alien X in the episode Universe v Tennyson, where Ben is actually put on trial by all the other Celestial Sapiens for recreating the universe as oh. it violates the Multiverse Preservation Act. Nearly Shut losing up. the trial, Ben resorts to the Tetraman trial of combat and has to fight another Celestial Sapien. Ben convinces Bellicus and Serena to, quote, give him the keys to Alien X, and they can just float in the corner somewhere and argue all they want for eternity and Ben <laughs> will bother them. <laughs> and they actually agree. What? So Ben, as okay, a witness of Alien X, ends up defeating the gladiator and mm. is found not guilty on trial. Sort of. There's a lot more to the episode, so I would just go and ooh, watch it. Ooh. And since then, Ben is able to casually use Alien X whenever he wants. Whenever? For whatever reason. And it's honestly what the pretty heck? awesome. What oh, that's broken. Doing up there? Sounds like a war zone. Ben has control of Alien X. Yeah, I'm he could trap too. Superman uh -huh. in a room made of pure kryptonite with walls that are 50 feet thick. He could drain all of the power out of Goku until there's nothing left. He could, he could make it so they never even existed. Or as Kevin That's... put, They could just blink and we'd be gone. Still not convinced? Well, Ben 10's the kind of show to give you not one, not two, but three alternate versions of Ben's future. Yep, where just because why not? Where each one has their own special ability. This is because every time Ben met his future self, knowing his future would cause it to change, and because every iteration of the series wanted to make their own Ben 10,000. Because why not? 
it's awesome, it's creative, and it's rare where stuff like this is the norm in a TV mm -hmm. show. So there's the first alternate future introduced in the classic series, who's simply just Ben 10,000. Ben this 10, one comes yeah. from a future where Ben never had to sacrifice the Omnitrix in order to stop Vilgax at the end mm -hmm. of Alien Force, and wore the same Omnitrix throughout his entire life. This Omnitrix came with the ability to obtain DNA that was not previously in the Omnitrix, upon coming into contact oh, with the alien. Now, it was also stated by Dwayne McDuffie that upon the Omnitrix's recalibration, it unlocked a feature we'll just call the data dump. Upon transforming into a new alien species, the Omnitrix will import the creature's basic instinct into the user's brain. So if Ben ever becomes an alien that he's never seen before, he already knows how to use it within seconds. That's smart. The creators of the Ben 10, they are smart. They were thinking like 10, 10 steps ahead this when they was making these aliens and these like how to wash words and whatnot. They are smart people. Shown they love, the they love just making this series. Force. So Goku and Superman are both aliens. If either of them touched oh, the Omnitrix true. at any point in time during the battle, Ben could scan their DNA and transform into them. GG. With his own costume and color scheme, of course. Of course. Superman's power comes from the sun. And if Ben became a Kryptonian, both he and Superman would have the same power basis, and mm. Ben would instantly know his moveset, being a perfect match for Superman. Mm. And hey, if anything goes wrong, Alien X. The second <laughs> hey, jump cart, bring out Alien X. alternate future is where Ben 10,000 was able to utilize the ultimate feature all the way into adulthood. Fans tend to refer to him as just Ultimate Ben. He can use the powers of any of his aliens, including their ultimate transformations, while still remaining in his human form. He is also I'm sorry, what did you just say? Fans tend to refer to him as just Ultimate Ben. Ultimate he can ben, use okay. the powers of any of his aliens, including their ultimate transformations, while still remaining in his human form. What? So he's like, basically, he's like Goku or Superman, really, like, he can, like, shoot lasers out of his hands. Yeah, he's just basically like an alien at this point, but he's all the powers just without transforming. That's insane. He's, he's basically a Ben Superman, Super Ben. He is also able to scan for new alien transformations at a distance this time via a yellow supermarket checkout beam. And if you remembered how I explained ultimate transformations work, Ben could scan Goku and transform into an ultimate Super Saiyan. Sorry for pausing, but... Really, he could just, he could basically, uh, that ultimate bed, he could transform to that, um, that clock one, basically like a slow down time. He could transform into him, really not transform, but use his powers, slow down time, and then scam him from a distance, and boom, now he, now he ultimate Goku. Or ultimate Saiyan right here. Making him the That's broken. fullest of the Saiyan. <laughs> That's broken, he's broken. Instantly. So, Ben could go Super Saiyan 3. Although, not Super Saiyan Red or Blue, though, because of the whole ritual thing. But yeah, hey, yeah, Alien yeah. X. Also, <laughs> Ultimate Ben can do magic. One of Superman's what? weaknesses. You hang around yeah. the Anodyne for 20 years, you pick up a few tricks. We know comic book Superman is different, The third though, alternate but, yeah. future has been equipped with a device he built using his smartest alien transformations, which he calls the Biometrix. To give him his own identity, we'll just call him Ben 10K. Now, Ben 10K can yeah. use the Biomnitrix to fuse it. together any two of his aliens for seemingly infinite transformations. His most powerful one was his own identity, we'll just call him Ben 10K. Now, Ben 10K can use the Biomnitrix to fuse together any two of his aliens for seemingly infinite transformations. His mm. most powerful one was also his most utilized one, Atomic X. The fusion oh of God. Alien X and Atomics. So using previous knowledge, Ben can transform into a fusion of Kryptonian and Saiyan DNA, which would be pretty freaking sweet. And even if all of that didn't convince you, even if you no, somehow he already, still he already think there's a way, there's always the fact that basically Ben can't die. The Omnitrix has a failsafe where if Ben were ever to actually die, the Omnitrix would quickly sample through all of Ben's alien DNA and reconstruct a new body for him to inhabit. Oh. I thought you were... Nah. I always figured the Omnitrix had a failsafe that wouldn't let me die, and sure enough, it sure, came yeah. right when the Big Bang started. Also, I just here's figured a picture it, yeah. of Ben holding an explosion yeah, I the size that, of an yeah. entire Someone universe Someone told me about that, too. Hands. But if Ben really is all that He powerful, held the Big Bang. Why doesn't he ever do anything with it? Well, in the end, Ben's a human. Yes. He can be impulsive, make mistakes, and takes advantage of his powers recreationally whenever he gets a chance. But his morals are very strong. It may be cliche, but all he ever really cares about is doing what's right. Mm -hmm, What's it gonna mm -hmm. be this time, Humongosaur? Nah, Humongo's too close to what I'll be fighting. Gotta figure that thing's had a lot more experience being a dragon than I have. Thinking it through, huh? And according to him, there's always more than one way of getting something done. Your friendship aside, the only responsible move is to take him down with all necessary force. Then I don't understand why you're talking to me. It's the logical move. Come on, Kevin, maybe? It's the when he's move. like, it's the crazy. Move. But. It's not the Ben move. 
You trust people. You give them second chances. Mm. And they live up to your expectations. No! Stop hurting them! This is a battle. We do what we must to survive. These are human beings, Michael. Oh, the hybrids, right? The high... I forgot what they're called. We take them down, not out. Understand? At the end of Ultimate yeah, Alien, Ben contained the Dagon's power inside of Ascalon, a reality-altering sword, and along with the Ultimatrix, he was basically already all-powerful, even without Alien X. But all he did was turn every human back to normal and then gave it all up. He doesn't mm -hmm, need all of that mm -hmm. power to save the world, and he knows it's not his place to misuse it. As usual, you don't understand. You have proved your worth, but this inferior copy of my Omnitrix isn't worthy of you. That's why even with a limitless Alien X, he will still rarely ever become him. And if he ever does, he'll never do anything more drastic than the situation calls for. Mm. Mutually, it's the same reason why Superman chooses to help and protect everyone right, instead right. of totally ruling them like a god. Well, some comics, that is not the case. He, that is not the case. Injustice, that is not the case. <laughs> that is not the case. But usually, yeah, that is the case. protect everyone instead of totally ruling them like a god. Or why yeah. Goku always wants to fight people at their strongest. Hell, he even gave Cell a sensu beam. <laughs> Never forget. <laughs> Never it's forget. It's to let him fight Gohan at full strength, don't you think? What? No, Do you hear I don't talk? think. Ben Tennyson is the most powerful being in his universe, but it's his humanity that makes him worthy of all of that power. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I don't know how to thank you. Keep doing the right thing. But where does that leave Ben now? I mean, surely after spending a decade building up all of that continuity, the next series, Ben would finally be able to use all of his potential instead of just, I don't know, rebooting everything and starting from the beginning, right? No, we're rebooting everything and starting oh. from the beginning, yep. <laughs> Alternatively, if you'd like to see what I believe would have happened Blank. if they chose to keep going, you can check out my webcomic five years later, I've been a crossover about that, yeah. series with Danny Phantom where we finally get to see Ben at his absolute prime before transcending into Ben 10,000. It features character designs by the amazing Insane Dude 24, Insane whose dude. artwork you'll probably recognize if you're an active Ben 10 fan. You can also help support future projects by checking out my design shop, where every two weeks we update the store based on your suggestions. If you'd like to request a design, click the link below if you're watching this that on YouTube, snowman? or to the right or above if you're watching this on Facebook. Wait. And if enough people hey, vote for your right suggestion, there. I'll sketch it up and make it available for purchase on a shirt, phone, case, sticker, whatever you want. Thanks for checking out my debut episode of Tracing the Border. I'm Carol the Artist, and as always... No, it's a debut episode? Hey. And he has came a long way, I feel like. I haven't watched, like, most of his videos, but I feel like he came a long way. I didn't mean to mute it, but here we go. That was fun. That was fun to watch right there. That was fun to watch. But yeah, when I had originally planned to watch this video, when I was going to, I'm like, all right, I'm pretty sure Ben can beat Goku, no problem. But can he beat Superman? And yes, I, I'm pretty sure he can be Superman. Yes, 100%. Uh, can he be Superman Prime? I don't know. I don't know like all the stats about Superman Prime, but if Ben can basically uh, get the DNA of Superman, he can also go into Superman Prime too. He's broken. Ben is just broken. Like, it's, it's a cartoon character. He's broken. You... <laughs> Yeah, I don't see how Ben can be beat, really. Unless you can just move so fast that you can take him out before he even transforms. But that won't work because the watch can basically like revive you, I guess. Maybe if you cut his hand up. I don't know. I'm not sure how this will work. But yeah, like I said, it don't matter to me too much. I'm just here for a fun video, an interesting video, and it's delivered. This definitely delivered. I didn't know about some of his feats. I didn't know about some of his aliens as well. Like, again, the fact that, what was it, Ben 10K, I think he said, he can fuse two aliens, so he can basically fuse Goku and Alien X or Superman and Alien X or anybody and Alien X <laughs> that's broken that's that's broken like you're not beating that you're not beating that it's a good thing we got a kind and noble Ben 10 because if we got like an arrogant Ben 10 like how he was in the uh beginning of Alien Force I think and he was like really arrogant you might have seen some Alien X just be out there in the world just be showing out there non-stop he could be doing some crazy stuff but good thing he reeled it back in. He didn't be turning to Superman when he went all like villainous and injustice and some other comics. But no, fun video, fun video. I'm glad I was able to watch this finally because I've been meaning to watch this. It was on my radar. But I was like, all right, let me finish watching the Ben 10 episodes first, like season one, and then I'm gonna watch this. 
and I got some other things I had to do, and I got this chest pain, and I kept pushing it back and back, but finally, I was able to watch this, and I'm glad I did. I'm glad I did. But yeah, let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. Like, who do you think could beat Ben 10? Do you think Superman can beat Ben 10? Like, Superman Prime? I'm not too sure about Superman Prime. I know Goku cannot beat Ben 10 with the feats I have heard so far. I'm like, I don't think it's possible. Even Ultra Instinct, I don't think it's possible. <laughs> Thank you for watching, everyone. My cup of tea is out of here. Um, goodbye, everybody. Man, nah, nah, that, that Omnitrix and Ben, they just broken. Like, especially Ultimate Ben, where he doesn't even have to transform anymore. He can just be like, all right, I want that alien. Give me your powers, but I'm still being my human form. I like that, actually. That's pretty neat. But I'm like, dang. It's just so creative. You just, you're just not beating cartoon characters. You just cannot beat cartoon characters. Oh my God, it's just impossible. <laughs> it's just impossible. <laughs>